Welcome back to Dad Skills, the channel that aims to bring you simple how-to and dad advice. Later on, I'm going to be changing the brake pads on the car. But before that, I'm going to take these little kids to school. Goodbye. Yay. Dad Skills, Dad Skills, Dad Skills, Dad Skills. Okay, let's change the brake pads. So there's a couple of caveats before I start this. And the first one is, uh, try and find some suitable gloves. And I had some of those latex things. But every time I put my hand in, I'd rip it and they weren't big enough. So I had to go barehanded in the end, which isn't ideal because the brake dust is quite fine and it gets in everywhere. So pretty simple. Um, there's just two retaining bolts there on the back of this caliper. And then at this point, you realize that the handbrake's on. So chuck the wheels and put it in gear, let the handbrake off. There we go, you can pull it off easy. So next thing, I've taken the brake pads out of this one. You'll, you'll see that in a when I do the other side, how to get those out. So I've invested in this bit of kit, um, and this is to wind in the cylinder on the brake there. And this cylinder that we're winding in, when you press the brake pedal, that squeezes the pads together and causes you to stop. Now back in the day, you'd be able just to push that open, put a bar in there and just ease it back. But these days you've got to screw it back in. So I invested in this kit. This kit was 24 quid off Amazon and it was well worth it. And it's got all sorts of size discs and stuff in there for all sorts of different cars. So it's a really useful bit of kit. So I've wound back the piston and now I'm fitting the new brake pads. So the next caveat in this is when you have a close up look at these discs, in, in truth the discs need replacing. Um, but this video was a video on changing the pads and this day I only had one, this vehicle available. So I popped the new pads in, which is, it's straightforward. Um, and then I did a 10 minute journey, got some discs and, and just changed them over. It was no trouble really. So there you see in the background there, we've got the car up on an axle stand this side. So I didn't leave it on the jack. That's not what you want to do. So this video really is a two-parter. And so the other part is, which I will link above, is actually taking the wheel off and the process, if you've never done this before, um, changing the wheel. I will link that above, as I said. And in that I go through the best place to do it and where to look for the jacking point and things. So if you've never done that before, I suggest you watch that first. So now just tightening it all back up, pads are in. You'll see on the next, on this side I do, there's some little springs on the back of the pads just to keep them in position. Uh, so you've got to make sure you get those right, as I didn't do on this side. And you'll see me correct that and then go back to it. So, dead easy again, just like the other side. Just undo your two retaining bolts. Now, generally, when you take these off, you'll want to support them. Uh, you won't just want to let it hang on the on the uh, the brake line that you can see there, the rubber hose. But on these ones, the handbrake cable actually kept them propped up, so there wasn't any real strain on that brake pipe. So that was fine. So here we are again, winding the piston in. excellent tool so I decided to do this myself because you get a quote from the from a garage it's probably going to cost you 140 quid something like that 120 to 140 quid um, the pads cost me 18 pound 60 and the actual tool to wind in the, the the piston the cylinder on that caliper was 24 quid so I've saved money straightforward and now I've got the tool to be able to do it again on different cars. 
so pads are just going in. Now at this point, if you've ever had any issues with squeaky brakes, you can put a bit of a bit of grease on the back of the brake pad that touches the, the piston that I'm winding in again because I didn't wind it in enough the first time. I've never really had an issue with that, so I didn't bother. So it's going back on. And when you put your wheel back on, you can also put a bit of a bit of grease just so they, they come off easier next time on the hub there where the wheel locates into it. So there you see, I haven't put my spring in properly on the brake pad. So I just undo it again, just push that spring down. There it goes, right, I can, I can start again. And as ever, if this is the first time you're doing it, take pictures of it all the way through um, so you know exactly how it needs to go back together. Right, we're all in situ, tighten it up. Put your wheel back on, lower it down. Now, when you start your car up, before you go anywhere, give the brake pedal a couple of pumps just to get the, the cylinder back under, under some sort of pressure with the brake pads. Um, because you'll find if you set off first thing, you'll put your foot down, then there won't be any brakes for a bit. So just pump the brakes a couple of times. Do a very short sort of five metre stint stop couple more meters stop and then you can take it out on the road then any issues watch this video again or get a friend to help you that knows what they're doing thanks for watching see you again really soon